Late HD over Anclote High School in Pasco County, Florida. A teacher in critical condition after being struck and trapped underneath a vehicle in the school parking lot. First responders arriving at the scene and now the woman taken to a nearby medical center in critical condition. Hey there, folks. JB Buno here with you live on WFLA Now. We're going to stay here with you from Eagle 8 HD. Uh, again, following uh, just a terrible story this morning, this Thursday morning, out of Pasco County, Florida. Anclote High School is where uh, this occurred this morning. We're not in, entirely sure of the exact time, but the teacher uh, being struck, it was originally came in as a pedestrian being struck, and it was later identified to be a teacher uh, that was hit in the parking lot at Anclote High School, as we understand it, and got trapped uh, underneath a vehicle in the parking lot, as you see here that we have police tape up around the scene. So this happening uh, as, of course, school getting started for the day. You can see the Pasco County Sheriff's Office at the scene, and we're awaiting updates on exactly the uh, the condition of the teacher, but we're being told that the teacher did suffer critical injuries. And by the time that Eagle 8 HD arrived, the teacher had already been taken to a nearby hospital. So this is right next to the school. Again, the school being Enclote High School on Sweetbriar Drive in Pasco County. We'll be listening into Eagle 8 HD for updates. But as of right now, you can see that we have uh, several Sheriff's deputies on the scene. And you can see the area that they have blocked off is right next to the school itself. We don't know what the scene looked like this morning. Uh, this happening likely sometime in the last hour, hour and a half. And we don't know if there were a lot of people in the parking lot. You can see that there's a lot of vacant spaces in the parking lot itself. So we're not entirely sure if it was a busy scene and we're also not entirely sure as to what led to the teacher being hit. Again, it originally came in as a pedestrian being struck. We do not know if there were uh, several cars involved or if um, we're trying to get information for you folks. So what we do know at this time is that in this area, in the parking lot of Anclote High School, a teacher was struck and then trapped underneath a vehicle and that the teacher was then taken to a nearby medical center, nearby hospital with critical injuries. We do not know the identity of the teacher and we also are awaiting any word on how this impacts, if it impacts at all, the school day at Anclote High School. Not every day that you arrive to your school to begin a normal Thursday and see police tape up and multiple sheriff's deputies vehicles uh, in the parking lot. So if we have any news for those parents in Pasco County, uh, if we have any news about how this impacts the school day, uh, if there is any impact to the school day, we'll of course pass it along to you on WFLA Now. This is in Holiday, Florida, Sweetbriar Drive. And uh, for those of you joining us from outside the viewing area, Pasco County is north of Tampa. And Anclote High School uh, is actually north, sort of northwest Pasco, well, you could say kind of west Pasco County. It's south of Newport Ritchie, north of the popular beaches such as Clearwater Beach, St. Pete Beach. It's uh, more north near Tarpon Springs. And Again, this morning, a teacher being struck and trapped underneath a vehicle here at Anclote High School. So if you're just joining us here, folks, J.B. Buno here with the Live at WFLA. Now you can click on the link in the description on this video. It will be updated with the latest information. And, of course, all the new information that comes along will pass along to you live. But you're, if you're watching this video in a non-live capacity after the live stream has ended, you can click on the link in the description on this video, and it will take you to, to WFLA.com where we have the latest uh, on this story. But truly uh, just a terrible story this morning hearing about a teacher uh, getting hit at Anclote High School in Holiday, Florida. So, uh, again, Eagle 8 HD kind of zooming in here. We're also uh, keeping Eagle 8 HD's mic open. In fact, let's see if their radio is open. If the radio is open, what we can do is we can communicate with 
Eagle 8 HD's Paul Lamison and see if we can communicate with him and he can tell us what he's seeing from the air. Eagle, this is JB on WFLA Now. Do you have us? Eagle is currently uh, providing live coverage on our newscast on WFLA News Channel 8. We're currently in our morning news here on your NBC station, 8 on your side. So there we have a vehicle with doors flung open. Oh, okay. I don't hear him. Oh, okay. That's why. Okay. Let's try again. Paul Lamison, JB, on, we're live on WFLA now. How are you this morning, and what are you seeing from Eagle? Hey, JB, good morning. Yeah, we're over in Clode High School. You're looking at the car. This happened earlier today. A teacher was hit by a car and trapped underneath it. They had to call EMS. They called 911. Uh, they got on scene. They removed the teacher from underneath this car. The teacher was transported to an area hospital with critical injuries, is what Pasco Fire is telling us. Now, I want to show you where this is. This is in this parking lot right here at Enclode High School. This happened on school grounds before school started. Uh, people were here, not a lot, but right now they have this part of the parking lot shut down. You see law enforcement on scene. There's uh, the Florida uh, Highway Patrol, as well as the Pasco Sheriff, as well as school officials. You see they have the tape over here. Now I'm going to move over here and show you. This is where the accident happened. Again, the teacher was trapped under the vehicle. They were able to remove the teacher and take them to a hospital. Now it's not known how this accident happened, what happened, or how, or even how, really how this could have happened. But again, the sun is really bright in this area as the sun comes up. And the sun, even for us flying, is making it difficult at times with the sun shining through. We don't know what happened on the ground, but we do know a teacher was hit on campus, trapped under a vehicle, removed from under the vehicle, and taken to an area hospital with critical injuries. Again, that's from Pasco Fire Rescue, and they remain here on scene and they're investigating this. So, JB, that's what we know from here. So we'll throw it back to you. But again, Enclode High School, it happened on school grounds, so there's really no traffic delays outside of the high school. Here's a wide shot of the high school. So it happened here on campus. So, JB, I'll throw it back to you. Paul, maybe you can paint a picture for us. We, we're not entirely sure the, of the exact time that this occurred this morning. Um, it doesn't appear to be that busy of a day or at least morning at the school itself, a lot of empty spots in the parking lot in this particular section of the school. So we don't know if it was uh, too hectic, a lot of kids or a lot of teachers, you know, filing into school for the day. We don't know what it was like this morning because we don't know what time it was, but uh, clearly um, not a lot of activity from what you're seeing right now, the time now 8, 19 in the morning, uh, what you're seeing from Eagle 8 HD. No, JB, there's not a lot. And again, this is even... Over in this area, there's not even many cars parked in these parking areas. I'll show you the parking lot. Again, this is on school grounds, and not even a lot of students are on campus yet. It doesn't look, but they have this section closed off. So, again, it's tough to tell. It could have been dark when it happened, or it could have been with the sun coming up with it happening. Or it could be, I mean, there's so many different options it could have happened. But, again, this is the car. This is where the teacher was struck and trapped underneath the car and the car's not even in a parking space it's driving so it's really tough to see where it was going you see it is going the right way you see the arrow on the ground there's where the probably the accident happened you see different things on the ground and then the ems came and had to remove the person from under the car and take them to an area hospital and again critical injuries which are pretty severe so again, not sure how this happened, but again, it happened on campus. It was a teacher, and we do not know who was driving the vehicle, but here's a wide shot of the school. So you see, it's on school property. It's nowhere near a roadway. This happened over in the back of the school in a parking lot. So not blocking traffic, 
but it is going to be a big issue here at the school. And then they have to figure out what happened, and hopefully the teacher is okay. But right now, they have the whole parking lot shut down as they continue to investigate this and talk to the people involved. Back to you, JB. All before we let you go, just kind of looking at some of what's littered here in the in the parking lot. That it's hard for me to see uh, right now, but it, it looks it, that looks it appears to me almost like a drink, like a like a mug of coffee or a, a morning beverage. So, not entirely sure what we're looking at, but perhaps you can have a you perhaps you have a better perspective. Yeah, that's almost what it looks like, JB. Again, we're we're really fighting the sun up here because we go in and out of the sun. And this is actually in the shade, but that's what it looks like. I'll zoom in on it here. That does look like a cup of coffee that maybe the teacher had in their hands and dropped it as they came back around. But again, tough to see and tough to tell from up here. Again, we fly at about 1,200 feet. And we can see pretty good with the camera, but that's kind of what it looks like from up here. And again, it's in the shaded area, which again, makes it a little bit harder for us to see. But here, I'll give you a shot, and that's kind of what it looks like right in this area, a couple different cups. But, JB, yeah, just a bad scene up here at Enclote High School. Paul Lamison for us this morning in Eagle 8 HD. Paul, we'll let you get back to it. If you do have to return home to Tampa, just let us know by throwing up tail camera if you would. And uh, we'll see you on WFLA News Channel 8. Thanks, Paul. See you, JB. Have a good one. All right, everybody, Paul Lamison on Eagle 8 HD doing coverage on both WFLA Now here for us on our live stream. Also uh, bouncing back and forth uh, to television as well, providing coverage for your NBC station here in Tampa, Florida, and Tampa Bay, uh, WFLA uh, News Channel 8 on your side. So, again, for those of you just joining us, good morning to you. Not the news that you want to be hearing this morning, a teacher being struck in a school parking lot in Pasco County, Florida. Uh, the teacher... Uh, not only being struck, but getting uh, trapped underneath the vehicle uh, that the teacher was struck by. We do not know if it was a male teacher, a, a female teacher. We do not know the age or the name of that teacher. Uh, this is currently an active investigation that is currently underway with the Pasco County Sheriff's Office, as well as, of course, the uh, representatives for Anclote High School. The teacher uh, being taken to a nearby hospital suffering critical injuries and uh, of course uh, so many prayers coming through and I've, I've seen a lot of the uh, the prayer hand uh, emojis in our Facebook and our YouTube comment section a lot of prayers going up for the teacher um, who again this Thursday morning February 10th being struck by a vehicle uh, in the school parking lot likely just showing up uh, for another day of of, of school at Anclote High School in, in Holiday, Florida. So uh, you can see behind the, let's go full screen. You can see behind the, the vehicle. This is the vehicle where uh, the incident is said to have occurred. And also whomever was behind the wheel of the vehicle, whoever uh, struck the teacher and, um, you, I mean, clearly not in this area at this time. Um, we do not know who or why or how exactly uh, this incident uh, this accident occurred uh, all we know is that um, the teacher who was struck did suffer critical injuries and was taken to a nearby hospital and of course um, our prayers as well uh, praying that the teacher uh, is is uh, going to make a speedy recovery but as of right now the information that we have is um, is that the teacher suffered critical injuries now paramedics would respond to the scene and they did have to lift the vehicle to free the teacher. Not sure what that looked like, if it was, um, if they, uh, if it was how many individuals contributed to that or if they needed to bring on equipment onto the scene to lift, or there you can see a jack, actually. I believe that that's a jack. As I'm talking about it, we have a better shot now. You heard Paul talking about the sun being a, a challenge, that looks to me like a jack. So they were able to jack the vehicle up and free the teacher from underneath. And, uh, and if our commenters will feature some hashtag KJB comments here if, you, if you'd like to, folks. But uh, if, you, if you agree that you think that that is a jack, throw a thumbs up emoji if you can in the, in the comment section. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like a, a jack that they used to prop up the vehicle. 
it would have taken um, a, a number a number of individuals, a number of paramedics uh, to be able to lift up the car with their with their strength alone to be able to free the teacher from underneath. So not surprising that with the sun coming into play and us being able to now see the jack that they did, in fact, uh, it appears that they used the jack to hoist up the car and, and free the teacher from underneath. Yeah, seeing a lot of uh, thumbs up. In the comment section, uh, a couple of commenters noting that it also looks like there's a backpack as well near the vehicle. And you can see that they have completely blocked off this section of the parking lot. Uh, we can, again, feature some of the comments. Use hashtag uh, HeyJB. Uh, you know, one of the commenters on YouTube uh, noting here that the position of the vehicle looks a bit odd, that there's, um, that there's no other vehicle in that area. And perhaps, and again, we can't say for certain, but um, you could be whipping around a corner in a parking lot. You could be trying to Maybe you're, you're, you could be running late for the day and you're whipping around um, a parking lot a little faster than you should and maybe not see somebody and, and you could hit that person. I'm not talking about in this case. I'm just talking about in general. Uh, how often do you <laughs> how often do you go grocery shopping and there's just um, somebody in the parking lot whipping around corners going way too fast? I'm speaking in generalities here. I'm not speaking in relation to this incident because we don't know exactly what contributed to the to the pedestrian, the teacher getting struck, but how often do you see that occur where somebody is just going way too fast in a parking lot? Now, a lot of times what you'll see in a parking lot is competition over spaces. People will be trying to, uh, you'll, see a, you'll see one vacant spot and you'll try to get it before somebody else, especially, you know, I'm, I'm always thinking about like a shopping mall during the holidays and how competitive it can get to get a parking spot. But here, clearly, it, that uh, very different because, uh, clearly, uh, a lot of available parking spaces in this section of the parking lot at Anclote High School. This is a better view, by the way. Again, trying to play with this morning sun coming up. Um, you can see the uh, it, that looks to be like coffee, a, a drink that is spilled out on the pavement. And the two doors flung open. A looks to be like a Kia, a small Kia SUV or a crossover. And again, both doors flung open. The driver of this Kia, uh, obviously uh, not within picture. Uh, and we have not seen the driver since this live stream began. I want to remind folks, we're always engaging a new digital audience. Every three or so minutes, a new audience is coming in. And people, of course, also leaving the live stream as well. It's a revolving door. That is our audience uh, on live streaming. And got to repeat just some of the the facts of the case uh, or the facts of the story as we know it and as we understand it right now. At some point this morning, we do not have a, an exact time. I can tell you the time that the alert came in um, because the alert came in after the teacher was transported to the hospital. The alert came in at 741 Eastern time. So at 741, it said Pasco County Fire Rescue is currently at the scene of a pedestrian struck at Anclote High School. Early reports indicate that a teacher was struck and trapped under a vehicle at the school. The teacher is freed from the vehicle, from under the vehicle, and transported to a nearby hospital with critical injuries by paramedics. We ask that drivers in the area use extreme caution as responders work and students arrive at the school. No further information uh, available uh, at this time. That's from Corey Deardoff, uh, public information officer for Pasco County uh, Fire Rescue. So that's where we are right now, and we have not yet received any update uh, regarding the teacher and the critical injuries that the teacher suffered here at Anclote High School. Uh, again, uh, a lot of prayers that I'm seeing across our social media platforms, live on Facebook, YouTube, WFLA.com, and the WFLA app.
breaking news on WFLA Now. Here is J.B. Buno. Again, following breaking news from Eagle HHD, a teacher struck at Anclote High School in the parking lot this morning gets trapped underneath the vehicle and is transported to a nearby hospital with critical injuries. JB here with you live, everybody, on WFLA Now. Eagle HD is about to be heading home here shortly. Uh, so, again, a final update here on the story uh, that we've been covering this morning out of Pasco County, Florida, north of Tampa. For those of you joining us outside the viewing area, it's the uh, one of our northern counties here in the Tampa Bay area. And there you can see we'll go live uh, and full screen one more time uh, to the vehicle um, that is believed to have hit the pedestrian uh, this morning. That pedestrian later revealed to be a teacher, a teacher who, again, has suffered critical injuries, taken to a hospital. We don't know, we do not exactly know which hospital that teacher was taken to. However, uh, the teacher did suffer critical injuries and prayers coming in across our social media platforms for that teacher. So you can see s multiple sheriff's deputy vehicles uh, on the scene with the Pasco County Sheriff's Office. Uh, a investigation has now been launched into exactly uh, what transpired here. Uh, but, uh, of course, all the thoughts and prayers right now, and as you would imagine, especially within Anclote High School, uh, focused on this teacher who was trapped under the vehicle. We had a shot earlier from Eagle 8 HD showing the jack, the jack they use to hoist up the vehicle to free the teacher from underneath. Um, uh, again, we don't know if speed came, if speed was a factor, we do not know. Um, we don't know exactly what led to the driver of the vehicle striking the, the teacher in the parking lot. Uh, anyone, of course, who works at a school or if you have a memory of, of the, of your high school parking lot, you know that when everyone's arriving for the day, it's extremely busy. It's, it can be extremely hectic. Um, a lot of people coming and going, um, and uh, you have cars racing across the parking lot. Um, you, you would also have a lot of you know, teachers and students filing in for the day. It can be a very, very hectic scene when school is getting ready for the day. Um, this one, uh, of course, this day at Anclote High School, um, the scene of a, uh, of a terrible incident involving a teacher getting trapped underneath a vehicle after being struck and transported to a nearby hospital with injuries. Folks, this is going to wrap up our coverage on WFLA Now. You can see on the right side of your screen, Eagle heading home uh, to Tampa, Florida. We're going to, of course, update the story on WFLA.com and the WFLA app. If you're joining us on Facebook Live, on YouTube Live, you can click on the link in the description on this video. It'll take you over to WFLA.com or the WFLA app if you have it installed on your device, and you can read the very latest on what we have on the story, especially if you are joining us in a non-live capacity. If, it's, if you're watching this in a recorded format and not in, in the live stream, there's likely new information on the story itself and you can read it for yourself right now by clicking on the link in the description of this video to get you over to WFLA.com, the WFLA app. Thanks so much for being with us, folks. And we will be updating the story on WFLA.com over the course of the day.